Yeah, do you ever do you ever see an Ann Getty's calendar? What is uh, I, I, there's like a Gaddy's Pizza where I used to live. It's probably not the same thing because Ann Getty's made. She's a famous photographer, and she was famous for taking photos of uh, babies like wearing adult outfits. Like the baby would would have like um you know be like playing a saxophone or like smoking like a fake cigar or something like that or uh, it'd be it'd have like a like a flower I mean, I get flower it. petals around their head. My, so what about my grandma has a she, well not anymore but she had a ton of Ann Getty stuff. We'd get her like an Ann Getty's calendar for Christmas every year. Well, I mean you know uh, it's it's cute. I think honestly like my grandparents had a bunch of I don't even know what you call it like. Their house, you, know, you walked in and you just knew instantly that it was an old person's house, you know? Like, you just like, of a you're baby like, baby playing basketball, baby with like suspenders on. You're like, that baby's an investment banker. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're really on that. I was trying to, you know. But yes, that's fair. I mean, babies in, in suits, yeah. That's I was cool, speaking man. of which, I actually watched The Boss Baby. Did you know um, <laughs> that The Boss Baby has the most insane plot? You probably did not know this. Okay, here, fill me in. Okay, the plot of The Boss Baby. You think it's just a baby that maybe is also a boss. That's fucking wrong. We live in a, in a sham world. We live in a clown world um, where the veil has been pulled over our eyes. You don't realize there's been a lifelong feud between babies and puppies to soak up the finite amount of love that can come from adult humans on planet Earth. Oh no, well, no, 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 it's, it's big fans. You can keep going. Okay, so there's a war between babies and puppies in order to win as much love from human beings as possible. Okay, you following so far? I'm following. Um, the, the baby side is facilitated by a company called Baby Corp. Baby Corp is in charge of the baby's uh, supply in the world. Some of those babies are sent down to be with loving families, but some of those babies, in like a true Brave New World sort of way, have been identified to be superior babies. They're kept babies forever by drinking a special scientifically formulated anti-aging milk, and they're in charge of making all the executive decisions in order to ensure that babies don't lose a war to puppies and miss out on human love forever. So, uh, enter the Boss Baby. The Boss Baby is a secret agent working for Baby Corp that has been sent down to be like a man in the field in order to help the babies fight back against puppies because the leader of Puppy Corp is about to release a puppy that is gonna make people never have babies ever again uh, because it's a puppy that drinks the anti-aging milk and stays a puppy forever so it doesn't grow into an old dog. So they gotta use, they're like, they, they're doing secret agent stuff to try to stop Steve Buscemi from releasing a never-aging puppy that will crater the amount of baby love that's gonna exist on planet Earth and lead to a, a insane population crunch. Also, if you suck on the pacifier, you go on, like, an LSD trip and it's just... It, it, I'm, when, at first, when I, when Kate put on the movie, I was like, I, I get it, it's probably like a movie, the baby wears a suit, and it's like, get me a bottle, toots, or something like that. It is nothing like that at all. It's crazy. Uh. And then there's a, there's a sequel, <laughs> and then there's a, there's an inner, you know, like, um. Oh, wait, how does that, guy tell me how it ends, man? Did the boss baby, does he win? Does the, all the puppies die? Yeah, like, what happens? Fucking, they fucking win, okay? They, they, they drop Steve Buscemi into the, puppy de-aging juice he becomes a fucking large baby and then they just kind of like take him away and then the, the boss baby's like i got promoted at baby corp so i'm going to become like the ceo of baby corp but then his, the kid who was his big brother is like i'm offering you a job as my little brother so he becomes he chooses to quit his job at baby corp in order to become a little brother because the love of a family is irreplaceable but then there's a fucking sequel so I don't know okay. what's going on with that. And then you remember Bumbershoot, Bandersnatch, the Netflix Black Mirror mm -hmm. interactive one? Yeah. There's a, there's a Boss Baby Bandersnatch uh, we haven't watched yet. Though. I guess you can interact with the story and you get like a choose your own adventure type deal. Dude, I... It's madness. I don't know what they were thinking when they made Boss Baby, man. It's crazy. Well, I'm just like, there's a lot of logistical problems already that I can see. One of the main ones is like, you wouldn't want a puppy forever. Like, puppies shit and piss and, and, and they're like so full of energy. Like, it's a nightmare. Like, you get the puppy because, you know, you get like, oh, it's like two months. It's so cute. It's so cute. And then they grow into a dog. And you're like, oh, okay. Now, Thank God. now I have a friendship. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no longer yeah. am I dealing with this shit. Like, 
Uh, puppies forever will be terrible, man. That is how I feel about my cats. Whenever they like get up to some shit, I'm like, shouldn't you be sleeping right now? You're old. Yeah, I'm gonna feed you the de-aging uh, boss. I'm, not, I'm never feeding them the de-aging juice. If anything, I want them to drink the get old juice. Oh no. <laughs> Someone's not gonna... not old enough to oh, face hell. <laughs> Literally wants his cats to die. Like oh no, my I just God. want them to. This guy? I just want them to him? chill out a little bit. That's I just want my them to relax. Ruka is not chilled out. Yesterday, couldn't find him. I'm like, okay, he probably got out and is uh, dead. And what then the? I go searching through like every nook and cranny in the house. It turns out he's in the baby's closet. I try to get him out of there. He's like, no, I don't want to go. And so I shook like this container full of pacifiers. He thought it was treats. Dummy. Comes rushing out, close the door right behind his ass. <laughs> Fuck you. You know the other thing in Boss Baby? They show a pie graph of how like love is distributed throughout the world. Baby's yeah. like 35%, puppy's like 50%. Then there's one that's two rings, like spouses. That shit is like 2%. The boss that babies make accurate. it some serious, like, <laughs> they're, they're taking some shots, man. Ah. I gotta oh, watch. Chewing, a, though, right? like, I gotta watch a YouTube essay about, about boss baby, dude.